This morning, um, I was still studying Exodus 1, but I looked to the left just to get some more background on how the story went from Genesis to Exodus. And I found this beautiful story about Joseph when Joseph reassured his brothers. For all of us who don't know the story of Joseph, Joseph was um, the son of Jacob and he was betrayed by his brothers. He had a dream where God told him that many will bow to you. And he was used to save basically the whole world because of a big famine that God um, allowed to come on the world through disobedience. And Joseph ended up being betrayed by his brothers. He ended up being uh, accused of a crime that he didn't do and he had to spend years in, in jail. Then long story short, God allowed Joseph to interpret dreams and he gave him the power to do that through his spirit. So Joseph would go to God and God would reveal to him what these dreams meant. Long story short, we are victims of our childhood where we are affected by the things that happened in our past, whether we admit it or not. And I'm pretty sure Joseph felt so much pain and hurt being betrayed by his brothers, having to be in a hole, in a pit, and thinking, how come my brothers do this to me? And many times we experience that too. But here we find in uh, Genesis 50, uh, verse 15, we find a we find a story of forgiveness. And it's a beautiful story. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, perhaps Joseph will hate us and may actually repay us for all the evil which he did to him, which we did to him. So they sent messengers to Joseph saying, before your fathers died, he commanded saying, thus you shall say to Joseph, I beg you, please forgive the trespasses of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Now please forgive the trespass of the servant of the God of your father. And Joseph wept when they spoke to him. Then his brothers also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we are your servants. Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid, for I am in the place of God. But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring about as it is this day, to save many people alive. Now therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for you and your little ones. And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. And this is such a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is such a beautiful story because that's forgiveness. That's amazing. He, he had so much wisdom from God. He said, God, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good in order to bring about it as it is this day to save many people alive. If we had that perspective when people did things to us, if we could have that perspective of forgiveness to know anything that happens in this world, anything that somebody had, has done to us that's not right, God has a way of using that for good. What a powerful blessing we could learn from the word of God, from this story. If you want to read it for yourself, you go to Genesis 50, chapter 15, and it just shows us. Read the whole entire uh, story of Joseph, and that story is going to start, I believe, in uh, Genesis 39. It's going to start in Genesis 39. Genesis 39. Okay, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. For example, like that, just forgive and move forward. Um, God, God uses all these situations that happen in our life for good and to bless us through them. That's one lesson that I even learned from reading this. No matter what happens in our life, God uses it uh, for good and God uses it to um, bless us and God uses it to further his will and his cause and one day we'll see Jesus face to face and we'll know why everything happened in this world and how God has been leading our life all this way and it's such a beautiful thing and I'm so grateful we serve a God that's always in control that no matter what happens in this world he knows the beginning from the end and he loves us and he'll take care of us through it all God bless you God bless you.